Good morning, Chargers. Today is Thursday, January 27th. I'm Dylan. And I'm David. Welcome to Volt Vision. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and check out our website. And now to Charger Sports. After Saturday's win, Coach Crawford was honored by staff and friends and former players. Her years of coaching have impacted so many and she has left a lasting legacy at Clear Springs and the entire community. Wednesday, Boys Varsity, Lacrosse versus Atascacita at Springs, 7 p.m. Wrestling, Creek slash Lamar Cons slash Morton at Springs. Thursday, swim, Springs at Texas City. Friday, girls soccer, Springs at Lake. Boys soccer, Lake at Springs. Girls basketball, Creek at Springs. Boys basketball, Springs at Creek. Girls golf, Springs versus Creek slash Lake at Debbie Fuchs Invitational. And now it's time for a video break. Hey Judson, what's up? Oh, hey, this is today? Oh. Yep, what are you working on? I was just finishing up this car edit for the next show. Oh cool, how long has it taken you? Uh, it's been about a week, but it should be done pretty soon. Uh, I actually gotta go get a camera if you wanna come. Okay, cool. So, what would you say your favorite thing about Volt Vision is? Uh, probably editing. I like putting the clips together. It's kinda like a puzzle whenever you see the final product. I gotcha. And so, this right here is your camera room? Yeah, this is our camera room. So we have our tripods and our lights, but I'm just gonna go over here and grab a camera. Nice. So let's go film. Let's just do that one from the top again. Oh, sorry, did I interrupt on something? Oh no, me and Drew were just about to start filming. Oh, what are y'all filming? Uh, it's just an idea that me and him had come up with. And y'all just get to do whatever y'all come up with? Uh, as long as it's school appropriate, yeah. Oh, nice, and this is every week? Uh, yeah, every Thursday is our show on Volt Vision. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll see you next week on Volt, Volt Vision. Vision. That's that guess what? Yeah, what's up? I just discovered this new thing. I think I'm gonna call it gravity. Gravity? Okay, what is it? Bestow your eyes upon this. What? What? Isaac, what is it supposed to do? It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to fall and hit my hands. Well, it isn't. You're literally such a fibber. <sighs> Suzette, look! What? Uh... Welcome back. Let's talk about campus news. The governor's office has designated the week of January 27th as Holocaust Remembrance Week. The purpose of this week is to educate students about the history of the Holocaust, lessons learned, and inspire a sense of responsibility to recognize and uphold human value and prevent further atrocities. The United Nations General Assembly recognizes the anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz-Birkenau on this date as International Holocaust Remembrance Day. This Remembrance Day honors the 6 million Jewish victims and 11 million other victims of the Holocaust. In their resolution dedicating the day, the UN condemns all forms of religious intolerance, incitement, harassment, and violence against persons or communities based on ethnic origin or religious belief throughout the world. Recognize a lesson from the Holocaust and acknowledge the importance of others through kind, caring words and deeds. Congratulations to our Silverados in their solo competition this past weekend. 12 soloists competed in their grade divisions and had outstanding performances. 
Congratulations to Dakota Miller for winning the 9th grade solo division, Kayla Wagner for winning 4th runner up in the 11th grade solo division, and Mallory Davis for winning the 12th grade solo division. Davy slash Martinez duet plays first of all the duets. Student and faculty, get your teams and get ready to battle for bragging rights at the second annual Jail Ball Tournament. Registration forms are available outside room 2322. Meeting, forms, and money are due by February 18th. One sophomore student will be selected to represent Clear Springs High School at the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Seminar in May or June. Hobby is designed to help high school sophomores build their leadership potential through an inspiring three-day leadership seminar. Our Hobby representative will have the opportunity to develop their leadership skills with community leaders through panels, presentations, and group discussions about real-world issues. It is a wonderful experience and great for your resume. If, if you are interested in applying, applications are available on the CSHS Counseling Corner It's Learning page. And from Ms. Knudsen in room 2507, we're at tknudsen@ccisd.net. The deadline is February 4th. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? It's SpongeBob SquarePants, and you are invited to Bikini Bottom to experience SpongeBob the Musical, presented by Clear Springs in the Theater Department, January 28th through the 30th and February 3rd through the 5th. Tickets information are available at chargersstageboxoffice.com. And now it's time for some more announcements. Roses are red, violets are blue. Valentine's Grams are here for you. A friend or a boo. Valentine Grams go on sale February 1st for any member of the speech and debate team. This is your only opportunity to send someone a special gift on Valentine's Day. Charger's speech and debate is the only approved Valentine's Day delivery at school. A bag of candy, a card, and delivery fee for only $2. The last day to purchase is February 10th. You must know the name of the recipient's fifth period teacher. Spanish Club will meet Monday, February 7th in Miss Bonnet's room, 2525. Everyone is welcome. If you would like to receive high school credit for current employment, consider joining career prep class next school year. Just fill out an application at www.ccisd.net slash CTE applications or come by room 1736 and talk to Ms. Hermes. Deadline to apply is February 25th. A representative from Texas State University will be on campus during D-Lunch on Main Street on Tuesday, February 8th. Stop by if you have questions. And now it's time for Man on the Street. Hey, I'm Mickey. And I'm Dylan. And this is Man on the Street. This is so funny. Uh, so his name's Dylan, too. Your name's Dylan? How do you spell it? Oh, okay. Your mama did it right. All right, I'm here with Ryan. Steven. Jaden. Miss Bennett. Can you dance, Jaden? Of course. All right, all right. What's your What's your best dance move that that that, that you would say? Uh, probably my my uh, my Patrick. Hey, shout out to SpongeBob, man. You know, come watch the musical. All right, can you hit the Patrick for us, please? I'll do my I'll do my voice. A little preview. All right. All right, all right. Hi, Makai. <laughs> SpongeBob. Hi, SpongeBob. Hi, buddy. If you could pick one person to take over the world, who would you pick? That's a good question. One person to take over the entire world? Yes. I'd pick me. Why? Have you met me? No. That's self-explanatory. You have met me. I'm taking over the world. Next question. Let, let's, let's go with Mr. Incredible. He seems pretty awesome. I thought you were going to say Incredible, but uh, alright. Uh, why would you pick him? Because he seems pretty incredible. 
Who do you think is going to take over the world in the future? Elon Musk or Bill Gates? Elon all the way, right? Why do you, why do you say that? Um, he's going to space, you know? He's messing with Mars and all that. So, like, it's only a matter of time, right? <laughs> B Bill Gates. Why do you think that? He knows about computers. He's making robots, you know, so... Yeah, it must be pretty easy to make a robot when you are one. Exactly. If you could be one animal, what would it be? A uh, toucan. A toucan. Why a toucan? Because they can fly. Do you want to fly a Ray, Riley? Yeah. Riley wants to fly a Ray. That's all we have for you today, Chargers. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and check out our website. And we'll see you next week on Vault Vision. Vision.